Being arguably the best source of automatic food in the game, chicken cookers have become a classic Minecraft build. This one, in addition to being compact, solves the problem of drops burning in lava by using hopper minecarts. All automatic chicken farms work in essentially the same way. You have chickens up here which are providing the eggs. The eggs go through a hopper chain into a dispenser. Now in this design there's actually a little bit of buffer space, so these hoppers and the dispenser will always be full of eggs in case you need any. And then any more eggs that come through activate a little clock back here and they'll get dispensed out of the dispenser. The baby chickens are held in a cauldron there in the center and when they grow up they'll get burned by the lava above them and all of their drops in this design are actually collected by two hopper minecarts which are stuck inside the cauldron and that prevents any of their drops from getting burnt up in the lava and then the drops will go down into the hopper beneath the hopper minecarts and cauldron and into this chest. Here are all the materials you will need to build this. The piston is just temporary, that's to get your hopper minecarts inside the cauldron. So let's start off with the killing mechanism. We're going to place our center chest just right there, hopper facing into it on either side. We want three blocks. We're going to leave this space empty but place a block over it. To the right here we want a dispenser facing in. To the left just another block. And now we actually want to stack two hopper minecarts. So we're going to place one on a block there, build up over it, place another round hopper minecart break the block between them, they're going to snap together, and then break the block underneath them, they'll fall into place. And we also want to get our cauldron in that spot, so we're going to use a piston, place the cauldron right there, power it somehow, and it's going to push it into that spot. And then we can cap off this chest using glass, you can also use a stair if you want to make sure that you can't see the chickens that you're brutally murdering. And then you can put blocks all around here, lava bucket right there, and that completes our killing mechanism. And now for the redstone, we're just going to run a hopper chain up from the dispenser to right over top of the lava. We're going to place a comparator coming out of this hopper here, which is going to go into a block, to a piece of redstone dust, to a torch, another piece of redstone dust, and another torch. And then we're going to place final piece of redstone there, which is going to power our dispenser. Now you notice that this is actually a burnout clock, but because of the way we have it wired up here, it's actually never going to let this torch burn out, so you're not going to get that annoying hissing sound. Now up here, we just want to place a ring of blocks, all around that central hopper, followed by a ring of slabs, and that's going to prevent chickens from jumping out. On top of the hopper, we want a carpet. That's going to make sure that chickens and eggs don't glitch into the hopper. And then finally, we can seal this off with a trap door. And whenever you're throwing eggs in here, if you want to make sure that you don't hit chickens out, you can just throw them slow enough that you're not hitting the chickens that spawn and sort of at the side or at the trap door there, and they'll fall in very nicely. And then finally, our cutoff switch just goes on this block right here. It'll power the hopper and prevent eggs from getting picked up. We can finish this off with two blocks there, and that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.